Hello everybody, Andrea here. So I have been a dental professional for about 17 years. I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what is the cost of dental teeth cleanings? Cause I get asked this question all the time. There is definitely a range. So even for new patients, for me, that is typically the first question people ask is how much do you charge for a teeth cleaning? And I explain it does vary. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures in a moment of why um, a dental professional will tell you it does vary. We need to see you in person to really know. We can give you an idea depending on certain things you tell us. And that is how long has it been since your last cleaning? If it's been 10 years, it's going to cost you more for us to clean your teeth opposed to somebody who comes every six months because there's going to be less plaque, less tartar, less stain. Um, Somebody who comes more often hopefully won't have any um, gingivitis. Hopefully they won't have any periodontal disease. So those are basically infections inside the mouth. That can happen if you don't take care of your teeth, gums properly by regular teeth cleanings. But having that said, if it's been 10 years, we are just so happy to see you. We're not going to make you feel bad. If it's been 20 years, if you've never had your teeth cleaned be before. We are going to work with you, hopefully work out a payment plan so you can have your teeth cleaned and things are going to look amazing. Okay, so let me share some pictures with you of how much a teeth cleaning would be and why. Okay, so I'm going to switch the slide here. So this is an extreme example. And actually, you guys, before I continue, let me say, if you're a little bit squeamish, this is one of the easier dirty teeth pictures. Okay, they can get pretty bad sometimes. So if you're a bit squeamish, I guess, beware, <laughs> or you might not want to watch this. I don't know. It doesn't get much worse than this, but this is just kind of a little taste of it. Okay. So look at these photos. If your teeth look like this, you're going to pay more to get your teeth cleaned than if your teeth look like this. Notice the difference. Now, this isn't just teeth cleaning, by the way, they need um, some more work done because they have cavities, they have stain, a teeth cleaning won't get rid of cavities. Okay. So if you have cavities that look like this, um, we can only do so much with the cleaning anyway, but just to kind of show you guys the difference. Okay. So the next slide, if your teeth look like this, this isn't so bad, but notice how there is more stain on the bottom. There's tartar um, or calculus. Some of us call it tartar. Some of us call it calculus. It means the same thing. Plaque on the bottom, okay? So the more plaque, tartar, calculus stain you have, it takes us longer to clean the teeth. We need to use different instruments. We're cleaning above the gum line, below the gum line. The gums might have a lot of bleeding, so that takes us longer. It depends on how difficult the case is. So. What I tell my clients is I do have quite a range. I let them know it could literally be a hundred and, and, you know, $80, or it could be $400. I know that's quite a range. So 180 is usually the cheapest 400. If you have extreme stuff going on, I'm working hard for like the full hour. I can't see. We're taking off like 20 years of stain. It's going to cost you different, right? But the nice thing, um, what I like to offer my patients is if I have a patient that says, can you do as much as you can? I have $200. That's as much as I can afford right now. Can you do as much as you can? Absolutely. So what I do is I, I will do as much as I can of what the client can see. So I would take away this, you know, stain first. I might not work at the teeth at the back because I might not be able to get that far with that amount of time and that amount of money that the patient has, you know, so I kind of work on the, the areas that they can see because as a, as a patient, you wouldn't be very happy with me. If I cleaned the back teeth, it cost you $200. And you said, Oh, I thought you were going to get rid of the stain here. Why didn't you do that? It doesn't even look like I had my teeth cleaned. I might've been working hard for that full hour, but you don't care. You want your stain removed. So I will do that first. So I do work with payment plans. Another photo just to show you guys. So this is a very light amount of stain. Um, this is a child too, by the way, because you can see the teeth are coming in here, but this would be easier to clean than this, you know? So this, 
with this amount of stain, depending on how easy it is to take off, might cost $100, maybe even less. Like it's hard to say, to be honest with you, without seeing it inside the mouth, how things look. So this is going to cost less than this. This is going to cost more because there's more going on. So you guys, does that make sense? Um, another slide here. So gingivitis and perio. These are gum infections. So we don't just look at the teeth. We look at the tissues around the teeth. But notice how there's a little bit of redness here. There's a lot of redness here. If we see this, that usually means there's plaque and tartar stuck underneath the gums. So you might be looking at this picture and saying, oh, the teeth look pretty good. What's the big deal? That's not going to cost too much. And I might think the same thing, right? But then when I look at the, the tissues around the teeth, I go, there's a big, it's puffy here. It should never be puffy. That usually means something's wrong. There's plaque and tartar underneath. There's some redness here. So we have to clean underneath the gums as well. We don't just clean the teeth here. If we just did that, your tissues would be puffy, red, swollen. You would have gum inf um, infection everywhere, not cool. So we also clean underneath the gums. So just because things might look okay, you don't have stain, limited plaque, there might be a lot hiding underneath the gums. It depends on if you're using mouthwash, what toothpaste, how often you brush, the foods you're eating. So we look at a lot of things. So just to quickly show you guys again, this would cost different than this. We have this, we have this, and then there you go. So, but please keep in mind, we will never think, oh, this person's teeth are dirty. Ew, what is wrong with you? We're not going to lecture you. We're not going to yell at you. I guess I can't speak for every dental professional, but I don't do that. I make it a point to tell every new patient, or even if there's just patients asking questions like, hey, Andrea, I just want to know how much do things cost? Are you okay if I haven't been in for like two years or 20 years? I would love to see you. That is my job is to clean the teeth. I personally do the very best I can to work with your, um, what your budget is. If you, if you have insurance, you don't have insurance, it doesn't matter. I work with what you can afford and we go from there. So let me know you guys, if you have any questions, I hope that helps to shed some light on why some people's teeth are easier to clean, why some people's mouths are harder to clean, and why it's really hard for us to give you a cost estimate. So let me know if any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click like on this video because that does help to support me. I would really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And we'll talk to you very, very soon.